Welcome back to the channel, guys. It is me, 80 Slumber for four. So today, guys, we'll talk about Grenada versus USA match preview. So we're gonna discuss about this game, um, where you can watch the game, where you can um, when the game is gonna start, and all the good details, and of course, my starting eleven for the game as well. So obviously, we're in the Concacaf Nations League, and let's go ahead and discuss where we are in the table. So obviously, we are, I believe, first in the table. Uh, we picked up uh, four points. Remember, we did draw away to El Salvador in the last game, and of course, we had to come from behind as well. And it was very, very dramatic, of course, getting that dramatic equalizer thanks to, obviously, uh, uh, I believe, who's the guy again? I forgot his name. Um, who's the guy that scored the equalizer? I, remember, I forgot his name. I should remember. Oh, I think it's, um, uh, I remember now. It's um, Jordan Morris. Jordan Morris equalized for us in the 91st minute. And as you can see, these are our two coming games we have here. We have Grenada away, and then we have El Salvador at home. So, Right now, we're actually four points in the group. We're actually second in the group, by the way. Um, just so you guys know, although we have played a game less than um, El Salvador. El Salvador have played a game in hand, uh, have played one more game than us. So I believe if we win our game against Grenada, which we should, by the way, we want seven points, and then it'll come down to the final match day, where basically, as long as we draw the final match day, we will basically be guaranteed top spot in the group. So, like I said, we really honestly should realistically be topping this group. Let's be completely realistic here, right? Um, and so forth. Now, Grenada, as I said, they're not coming into this one in good form, obviously. Uh, they've not been great in the last couple of games. And I think it's going to be interesting to see how the players are selected for this one. You know, who um, who Anthony Hudson is going to take. Because obviously, he's still the interim coach. Obviously, Greg Berhalter has not still been cleared yet. He's still going through the... Um, um, he's still... Uh, USA is still investigating, of course. Uh, I'll let you guys know if there's further updates upon that. And yeah, so... Um, oh yeah, for the watching the game, guys. So the game is going to start at 8 p.m. tomorrow, Eastern Time. And you can watch on Peacock, Television 1. And yeah, those are the two places where you can watch. So if you want to watch the game, guys... Check out those two places. So, let's go with the squad here. So, we got goalkeeper, Zach Stavit, Matt Turner, Ethan Horvath. I believe Matt Turner will be our first choice here. I think Matt Turner will still start for us uh, tomorrow. I could maybe see Zach Stefan get the nod, but I'm going to say Max, Matt Turner. Uh, Tim Ream, Anthony Robinson, Des, Miles Robinson, McKenzie, Scott, Scali, Ryan Reynolds, Aaron Trusty, Austin Trusty. I believe uh, Tim Ream will definitely start. He was our starter for us in the World Cup, so I imagine he'll start here. And then I think Des will definitely start in the right-back position. And Anthony Robinson. I think the only position that I think it's going to be interesting, who's going to be the second-choice center-back? Because obviously it would have been Chris Richards. Uh, obviously he's not here anymore. He's not there. And obviously Cameron Carter-Vickers is omitted. So who's going to partner up next jump? I personally believe we're going to see uh, Mark McKenzie. I think um, Anthony Hudson will give him the go. Um, I would like to see Miles Robinson, although he's coming out for a very long-term injury, so I don't, I wouldn't really rush him in like that. So I personally would give my, uh, I would personally say McKenzie should start. However, I could, I wouldn't be surprised to see uh, Miles Robinson start. Okay, center mid, CDM obviously is going to be CDM is going to be very interesting because Tyler Adams did get injured just before the call-up. So who's going to be the CDM player? I personally would like to see Luca De La Torre be the CDM for us. I think he could do a good job for us in the midfield. Um, and yeah, I think Luca De La Torre could be that, um, a replacement. Although I could see maybe, um, Yunus Musa could be there. Although I don't really know because I think Musa's going to be more of a forward option. So I think we're going to see Musa and I think we're going to see McKenny. And so, yeah, Weston McKenny, man. So Aronson will drop to the bench, in my personal opinion. And that's a pretty good solid midfield we have there. And obviously there is no Kellen Acosta, of course. Now, striker is obviously going to be very interesting because obviously we don't really have any recognized, um, Striker, so maybe we can get Pepe the go. I'd love to see Pepe. I think I would start Pepe in this game. He needs some confidence, man, at the moment. Um, he's been in terrible form, man, and he really needs us. He really needs us. Obviously, Pulisic, I think, will start in the left wing position, I would imagine. Uh, the right wing, um, Giorena. I think Giorena, man, this might be his opportunity for him to start. So, Giorena at the right flank. So, this is my starting 11 against Grenada. I would say I'm pretty confident in most 11. I think the only players I'm a bit skeptical with them starting are McKenzie, Luca De La Torre, and Pepe. Potentially Giorena. Potentially Giorena because I'm not so sure that's a locked-in choice. But this is what I imagine would be the 11. So I'm, I should be able to get at least 7 of the 11 correct. My score predictions for this game. I am going to go for a 3-0 win for the USA on the road against Grenada. Like I said, Grenada guys, they're simply not good enough. Really, in all honesty... 
I mean, we can just quickly look at the um, let's just look at the Grenada. Who's been their best player? Because this guy, the Grenada's not been good enough, man. They just simply haven't been good enough. That being said, though, they did get a draw away to El they did get a draw at home to El Salvador. So potentially they may get a draw against us, which would be pretty interesting. They did score two goals, and they're a pretty good man. So look out for uh, Agupong. And then, obviously, um, I would also look out for J Jamal Charles. So, look out for him, man. Look out for those two players. Anyways, like I said, though, we should be winning this game. We should be winning this game. So, I hope you guys did enjoy this preview. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And also, comment down below your score predictions. And, guys, we're going to be going live on Saturday to discuss about the CONCACAF Nations League, uh, Euro qualifiers, AFCON qualifiers, basically everything international break related. Uh, barring friendlies, of course. Maybe we'll talk about some friendlies in there, some of the high-profile friendlies. And, yeah. Anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy. Make sure you guys like this, like like the video if you have, did enjoy. Subscribe if you're new. Anyway, comment down below your thoughts in the comment section below. Also, check out any other podcasts in the description below. Consider becoming a member of the channel to get access to members' videos, members' streams. And yeah, I'll see you guys later, man. Peace out.